Hello everyone, so I've seen a few of these videos on YouTube and I thought I would give it a go. Um, it's pick a deck. Now ignore that this is upside down, it's just the card that's upside down. Um, but I don't, I'm not doing reversals. I don't really know them that well. So we have three decks here. I thought I'd start off with three, some people do four. But I hope we start off with three and go from there. So we have the Mukatara with a bit of Rose Quartz. We have the Tower of Illuminati with J Dalmatian Jasper. And we have the Mermaid La Scarabeo Tarot with some Tiger's Eye. I'm just going to give you a few minutes, a minute there to pick a deck. And then we'll go. Go with what's naturally. Focus your energy and your thoughts on that car, on that deck. I'll shuffle it. Well, once, once you pick, we'll go through them and we will uh, see what comes up for you guys. Okay, so we're going to start off with the Teramuka, which is number one. That's in charge over there. If you guys pick this, let's see what comes up for you guys. Gonna do one card and maybe an elaborator, give or take what it says. See what it, it's in relation to. Just gonna do two card draws. So with the rose quartz there, this is obviously in relation to romance. So we have the six of wands and the tower here. So uh, for those of you who picked this. Um, six of Wands means you're victorious, you're coming out of something, a battle maybe, you're coming out of one battle into another kind of drastic change because if this is romance related, um, just realise that was there, just moves against the view, <laughs> okay, fire signs, um, I was doing the horoscopes, um, before this so I will continue that in a minute, but, um, with this six of wands here, we see that you're coming out of a battle, you're victorious, but you're tired. Because you know, you've been in a battle, of course you're tired. But then with this tower, you see, you're looking over, it's like you're looking over this, like you're, you're on the hill looking over this tower that's destroyed. And you're seeing um, the, the, the cause and effect of your um, actions, I feel. And this tower has crumbled and it's just, gone it's gone this tower so in the sense of romance this tower would um show the end is nigh kind of thing it's like the ending of a it's a big drastic end it's like ripping off a plaster it's so quick the breakup was but you come out of it pretty victorious though because either you did the breaking up or someone if someone else did the other if your partner did you see the you see it as this quick, sudden change, but you come out pretty strong and pretty, um, pretty um, victorious about it. So you don't want to move on pretty quickly, but you don't want to take it in your too much in your stride and move on too quickly. So for those of you who picked up that tarot, um, that is that reading. Now we're going to move on to number two, which is the Tarot Lumati with some... Dalmatian Jasper. So let's see what comes up. Whoa, that left it. If there's a jumper, I'm going to use it as a second, like a little side note. Because it's a two card draw. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. Either that or this deck just really wants to be used. It really wants to be used, my goodness. So with the Terra Illuminati, I find this deck really good for blunt straightforward answers this kind of just sugarcoats it a bit from the few times i've used it it kind of goes well he could mean that but it could mean this whereas this just gives it to you straight so to start off we have temperance and the seven of cups so you're trying to find the balance in some kind of choice you need to make uh dalmatian jasper i always I just go with black ones are for protecting you from really um big decisions i find and black anything anything black is good for protecting you from dark energies or back bad energies so you're trying to find the balance in 
making a very valid decision, guys. Whoever made, picked this deck, you're making a very valid, important decision. And you're trying to keep the flow of your sanity, maybe. Um, <laughs> um, keep it flowing. And because you want to keep going, like that's the next chapter, next chapter, keep it going, keep it going. But you need to also stop and make a very valid decision. Because not everything is easy as just, oh, that'll do. Do you know? Like, it's not as easy as that'll do. With the Temperance card, though, you, you can also see that um, the angel here is looking over, actually, at the card, actually, that's picked. So it knows that you are trying to make this decision not too quickly, but long enough that you have made a valid decision. Maybe it's towards career, we don't know. Uh, we'll see what this uh, jumper says. This jumper is the <laughs> Ace of Wands. So the jumper was the Ace of Wands for you guys. So this is like the, by the way, you're taking action. You are making this decision, not the universe, because it's your life, not the universe's. Oh, wait, no, put that there. Because uh, um, it's your decision at the end of the day. The universe can give you all the signs they want. It can tell you what is coming. It can tell you what to what to prepare yourself for. But you have to make the decision. Like if this happened once in a reading, if someone said, um, "Oh, by the way, you're going to come into some money uh, next week," and they go, "It didn't come out. It didn't. No money came." I went, "Did you go out and do anything in relation to getting the money? No. Then how is it going to come to you if you don't get up and do stuff?" So, with this. <laughs> You need to get out there and you need to make this decision. But you're you're trying to keep the balance of, you know, your social life, your love life, everything, your career. You're trying to keep that balance pretty damn steady. And it's hard. Of course it's hard because life is hard. It wouldn't be life if it was hard. So what the fuck? I was like, where'd that card go? <laughs> Just hid behind it. So that was that deck there. Now we're going to the last one, which is the Mermaid Tarot by Descarveo. And it had some uh, tigers on it, which is to keep you grounded. So this is a, it's a very good deck for... Uh, I find it very good for emotional support. Um, I find it's very beautiful and fluid. I had the mini version, um, but I found it too too mini. Like I have the I found the end card, but it's just the end card. But like that was the mini. <laughs> it's tiny. Um... I just found the end card there after giving it to someone. I don't think they made the end card. But um, this deck is beautiful. It's very fluid. It's very relaxing. And if you want to stay down to earth, I find that that's a really good, it's a really good deck for that. So, what if for those of you who picked deck number three, the Mermaid Terrible and the Scarabeo, what does this deck want to tell you? Whoa. A lot fell out. It's too much at once, so I couldn't pick it. If it was one, fine, but that it was like six. My oh goodness, it's taking its time. It needs to wake up a bit. Wake, wake up, lads. Wake up. It's trying to wake up. Oh, take that one. Uh, it'll take the top one. Brown, okay. I love this backing, it's just like a kaleidoscope of water. Seven of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. So you guys are looking at, whoever picked this deck, you guys are seeing what you've done rather than where you're going uh, with the Seven of Swords here. Do you know, like you're seeing the guy putting the swords behind him, carrying the others and not seeing where he's going. And he could trip, he could fall and drop the swords and really damage his, his path on his way because he's injured himself and he has to take time off. So with the mermaid here, um, she's carrying the swords and she has her hand on her chest, on her, on her heart. So she's protecting herself for the future, I feel. And, but she's also like reminiscing a lot on the past which is it's also good and bad i find like you learn from the past but you can't be stuck in it all the time um you need to you need to see where you're going and see what's going on which is kind of funny given that this five pentacles is here with a mermaid 
taking a boy mermaid with a blindfold on him. It's kind of funny. The Five of Pentacles is... It's not as stable. It's like... It's showing you that you're going to be lured money-wise. It looks like this is... Like, just given by the art and being intuitive with the art. You're being lured into something that you don't want to do. Or like there's a friend who's like, Oh, I forgot... I forgot my money. Can you pay for my drinks? That kind of situation. And then you're like, oh, well, I don't have enough. I don't have enough for my drinks. Uh, that kind of thing. And you're reminiscing on the, the past being how it was and, you know, who you were and where how far you've come. And then you have this. You're still struggling money wise, I feel, whoever picked this deck. Um, you're being a bit strict with your money. But you're learning to, you know, relax and enjoy yourself and feel very um, confident in... I just realised that was off camera. I'm so sorry. But you're seeing that, you know, you're seeing it as an opportunity to grow rather than to sit and whine. Like, it's not the four cups. It's a opportunity just to reminisce on how far you've come so far in life. Like, look at all the hardships you've had. Look at all the... The challenges that came your way, the friends you've lost, the friends you've gained, the lovers you gained, the boyfriend you've gained, the girlfriend, whatever swings you, do you know? Um, look how far you've come so far and you'll, you'll you'll go forward then. So you're like, this is how you're keeping grounded because of the tiger's eyes on this deck. This is how you're keeping grounded. You are reminiscing on how far you've come rather than reminiscing, like if this was the six of cups you'd be disappointed in what you haven't achieved but you have three full cups there of things you've achieved whereas this is the seven of swords instead so you've you're still looking back but you're not ready to go forward yet which is kind of kind of this upsetting for you i feel so for those of you who picked that deck that is that um i hope you enjoyed that video um I might do that again. That's actually quite fun. It's nice seeing what what decks will flow and what they'll give out to you, give or take the crystal that's on top of them. So it's nice. Um, I'll leave that there and I will see you all next time. Please follow my social medias below and subscribe. I can't believe I got to say that. And ring that bell. <laughs> this is going to go on YouTube. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> okay. See you guys and... I will see you all very soon. Bye!